They say you need a thousand hours of practice to become proficient at something, whether that be cooking, biking, painting, or even woodworking. When it comes to making things, those same types of people say you need to make 10 to a thousand of those things to become proficient, depending on the difficulty of the thing you're making. I am going to be making 100 necklaces out of wood. This video is me making the first 10. I won't be using any fancy woods like I have before, or using multiple woods like I have before. I will only be experimenting with the shapes to learn what looks pretty and is easy to make. I'm taking this opportunity to become better at making necklaces and faster at bashing them out for things like craft fairs. I selected some scrap wood for this project. There were three species I used. One was maple, the second was walnut, but I didn't know what the third was. If you know, tell me in the comments. This is the mystery species right here. There was a bit there was a bit that I couldn't use, so I had to chop it off. I made it a point to use very basic tools for this project, like my pole saw. I wanted to do this, showing that you don't need much to get better and improve. I used my pole saw once more to liberate some maple blanks from the larger piece of scrap. I don't remember the last time I used maple. I've been using the oak that I milled a lot recently. I'll link that video up in the corner. I was able to separate the walnut from the other scrap piece using a mallet and a chisel. With all of the necklace blanks sorted out, I could start drawing out the design for each necklace. The first few I started out very basic, straight lines, then curves along one axis, then curves along two axes. I'm beginning to think the mystery wood is cherry. This is my scroll saw. It's my first choice when it comes to cutting out small parts. It makes clean, accurate cuts with some skill. I was able to cut out one necklace with it, that is until the blade snapped, so now we get to use the coping saw. With the coping saw, my cuts were not smooth. Nothing a little sandpaper can't fix, right? Here are all the blanks in all of their rough cut glory. We will be cleaning them up using some rasps and files. The little round rasp I'm using is my favorite. It came in one of those little cheap three-in-one file sets, but it may be one of my most used rasps. Now you get a full view at my horrible, <laughs> ugly, disgusting, and possibly even rancid coping saw cut. Is that a little much? Yeah, it's a little much. I filed the blanks for about 30 minutes. After they were all relatively smooth, I switched over to sandpaper. I grabbed 100 through 220 grit sandpaper. I recommend going a little higher than 220, maybe to 400 grit. The 220 grit is smooth, but not that smooth for being on your skin. It is at this point that I realize I am not going to enjoy hand sanding. I tried using my finishing sandbrader, but it vibrated my hands too much. After getting all the way up to 200 grit, on each and every necklace, I had to square up the ends of this one walnut piece. Now is a great time to make center punches for the jump rings, and then naturally drill them out. Then lastly, the mineral oil finish. I dipped them in that little vat using a wire. They weren't the worst, but 
not the best I've made. I definitely learned quite a bit. Simple shapes are definitely the easiest, so squares, rectangles, those sorts of shapes. They end up looking better because they're so simple. The maple I used didn't have much figure, so next round I should pair it with a darker wood, or more figured wood. I also learned that having the holes for the jump ring centered makes them look a whole lot better. You know, each and every little thing you do to all of them increases the value of each one individually. In the future, I will do shapes without curves, again because of all the time it takes to sand them. Also, if I do want to make curves, I'll make sure they're only along one axis. Multi-axis curves are just way too complex for me to sand right now. Next time, we will be making necklaces 11 through 20, so subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when I post the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you really love what I'm doing here, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.